Let's join our Ross in Los Angeles with the news. Ross, Hollywood is coming to Bradford, isn't it? Oh, yeah, forget Happy Valley. It's the place to be, isn't it? Yorkshire. Hollywood now making its way there too. I love this one. And this looks like a really great movie. Little Germany in Bradford being taken over, being taken back in time. It's a new movie called 6888. It's directed by Tyler Perry. Uh, people may know him from some of his movies. Also, of course, he was the friend of Meghan and Harry. Put them up in his house out here in L.A. at first. Uh, you've got Oprah Winfrey in, in it. You've got Kerry Washington. You've got Susan Sarandon. Uh, it's the story of the pioneering group of women. They made up the 6,888th uh, Central Post Director Battalion. The women were based in Birmingham during World War II. Uh, they were so monumental that back in 2022, uh, President Biden decided that the women should actually receive the Congress highest honour, the Congressional Gold Medal. So uh, not a bad time for the UK, is it, That's Lorraine, in good. terms of movies? You've got, uh, you know, you had The Batman in Scotland, Jurassic World uh, in England as well, The New Mission Impossible. Also, um, I had a sneak peek the other day, a movie that's, that's uh, set mainly in Clitheroe in Lancashire. There's an interesting one for you. More about that over the coming weeks. Uh, but, of course, Oprah in Bradford, what's she going to do? Go along and see the football team, get one of the legendary curries, or she could, of course, pop along and see... Dr. Amir. He could look after the whole cast. He could. He could be the cast doctor and then he could get a part in the movie. <laughs> oh, that would be wonderful. Let's make it happen, for Perfect. sure. Now, look, um, talking about new movies, Will Ferrell has a new one, doesn't he? Yeah, did I mention how much I liked Spirited and how many times yeah, I watched it? Yeah, uh, it was great. Just so a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, but he is superb in this new movie as well, but you don't see him but you oh. do hear the voice. It's, it's a movie all about dogs. Uh, he plays the voice of a dog that gets revenge uh, on his owner after being completely abandoned. You've got Jamie Foxx in it, Sofia Vergara, and my old pal Isla Fisher in there too. It's been described as the hangover with dogs. It's not out until June. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Lorraine, Will's character, do you think, resembles Angus just a little touch? Oh, let me see. Go on, I then. don't know. Let's take a look. There's Angus Pangus looking <laughs> so majestic and gorgeous. And let's see his doppelganger yeah. then. He does. See, if they'd phoned me up, <laughs> Angus could have been available for that part. Maybe for the sequel. <laughs> Maybe for the sequel. You know, Ross, um, there's big news this morning from Disney. Some good, some bad. Um, but I do wonder... Well, well, tell me what's going to happen and then we can talk about lack of originality. <laughs> wow. In Hollywood, <laughs> lack of originality? Never heard that expression before. Uh, yeah. Uh, Disney announcing that two uh, massive animation sequels... Uh, you've got Toy Story 5... Frozen 3, uh, the original Frozen out in 2013, uh, one of the highest grossing animated movies of all time, 1.282 billion. Then along came Frozen 2, $1.45 billion. Uh, so you can understand that. Uh, the fifth Toy Story, um, a bit controversial, this one. Do we need another one? You know, Toy Story 4 ended so well. Woody yeah. riding off into the sunset with Bo Peep. It's a little bit, do we need another nope. one? I mean, I did star in Toy Story, the, the, what was it? The Land That Time Forgot. I played a falling penguin. One of my better movies, I would did say, Lorraine. You? But perfect. do we need another Toy Story? No, I don't think we do. And that's perfect casting. I just think, make a new thing. Make a new thing. Don't just keep, yeah. you know, squeezing and squeezing and getting every single last penny out of the franchise. Because we've got these great films that you watch again and again and again. And they are fantastic. As you say, Toy Story wrapped up beautiful, gorgeous. There it was. But you know what? If you're a falling Next penguin thing in we're it... we're back faulty towers. Yeah. <laughs> If you're a fall if you're a falling penguin, I'm sold. Thank you, Ross. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, the Oscar winning, Oscar winning.